everybody, welcome back to another grilling video. And today we're doing a simple and easy grilled recipe and it's gonna be delicious smoked or grilled chicken wings. We have historically done these just on a regular old gas grill. You can do it on your pellet smoker, you can do it over charcoal, you can do it over your gas grill, it does not matter. Really, really simple. Go get you some chicken wings and cut them up into segments to the drumettes and the wings and we throw the little winglets away. Now I went ahead and dry brined these. I opened them up yesterday and I cut them up and I sprinkled a bit of um, kosher salt over them, a little bit of Tony Catcheries, and a little, and I'm probably saying that wrong, all my Louisiana friends will correct me in the comments, I'm sure, but it's hard to, it's hard to type pronunciation, isn't it? Um, I also use some Slap Your Mamas. I love that Slap Your Mama spice. It's really good, especially on these chicken wings. And the idea is you want these to be dry and you want them to be pretty, um, pretty seasoned up. So you can see what they look like. They look really, really good. Um, I also will at times use a little bit of uh, Sazon Tropical. Whoa, that was close. Um, Sazon Tropical seasoning, it's great for color and it's a little bit of a uh, Caribbean flavor, if you will. It's essentially a seasoned salt, but really, really good. So these guys have been dry brining for about 24 hours. And all I'm gonna do is sprinkle on a little bit more Tony's now before we go ahead and put these in. And a little bit more salt. Now this is a nice coarse ground kosher salt. I really like the way that uh, texture is on the outside of the wings. You just want to mix these up. I got some nice long tongs. These are great when you're reaching over the fire. It's not really easy to control them at the very end of this thing, but boy, it's nice to keep your hands um, a little bit away from that fire. So I'll just use that here to kind of mix these guys up a little bit. You can also do the little uh, you know flip trick here too. That works just fine. I probably should have done that from the get go. Bit more Tony's. You just want to get your grill medium to medium high. These actually cook pretty quick and it's going to be just fine doing it that way. It'd probably take five to eight minutes. But again, check your temperature if you're not sure. A little probe thermometer, really, really useful. Now, nice and easy, I'm going to go ahead and crank up my grill. Go to about medium heat here. Okay, our grill is nice and hot. We get these guys placed right down here on the grates. I like to start them skin side skin side down while the uh, the grates are still nice and hot. I've got my short tongs just because I can work a lot faster with them. I'm getting these guys put in here. Do my drumettes on the top, or my my winglet and flappers on the top, and the uh, the drumettes on the bottom, just because of the additional heat down there. Over here, yeah, right here. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thanks. Got all these guys in here, close it up. All right, it says this is up at 400 degrees. You can see the smoke coming out. Um, let's go ahead and just get these guys flipped over. Ah, looking good. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Got a nice char on them. I'm gonna turn it down a bit. Hopefully the wind doesn't uh, blow it out. I got a little flare up on one side, so I might move them around a little bit so I get a, a nice even char all the way around here. A little crispy. We're going to put him up here just because we had that flare up spot back there. Do the same with a couple of these guys. We'll just swap them around. Same back here. I like a little char on them for sure. All right, just a matter of flipping these guys over again. I'm going to keep rotating them, get them cooked all the way through. You want your chicken to be at least 165 degrees and Honestly, when I cook wings or drumettes, I actually like to get them at about 175 to 180. I like them to be, I won't say dry, but not so wet and chewy, right? Like, like just a regular piece of chicken, like a chicken breast. And I've got a hotter side over here, so I'm continuing to do a little bit of rotating here from the ones from the cooler side over here to this hotter side. And when they look just about done, I'm putting them up on the top left side of my grill. Again, you're gonna learn where the hotter and cooler spots are on your grill over time. 
So as we're cooking these, I'm also checking these for doneness. And several of them are, so we're gonna start pulling some of these off that are done at this point. So as we test these guys and they look like they're done, we're starting to just pop them right here on this tray. Drums are just taking a little bit longer here, as you would expect. Looks like it's our time to get these off of here. Nice, got a little bit of flare up. We get a nice char on some of these. Flip them over right into the flames. I am a fan of brushing down the grill while it's hot. It's much, much easier. First go with the grates, and then I go against them. So these probably took anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes, and some of them were often as quick as seven or eight minutes, and some of them took the full 15. Again, there's different spots and heat zones in the grill, so you have to move them around a little bit. That little uh, probe thermometer like I have here is so handy, the little pen thermometer to just check the temperature. So let's go ahead and give these a shot. Start with one of the flappers here. I'm a big fan of uh, popping the bones out of them first, but you know, you do you, right? Mm. I can already tell it's got great flavor. I pulled the smaller bone out of it. Now it's just a matter of tasting it. So the skin is nice and crisp on the outside. It's not rubbery. That's the nice part of high heat and the dry brine. It sucks some of the moisture out of the chicken. Man, really, really good flavor on these things. You can taste that bite, a little bit of that Tony's and Slap Your Mama. Not hot, but just good, rich flavor. Really, really good. I'm gonna take these inside. The family will absolutely love these. It's gonna be a great lunch today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Simple and easy chicken wings on any kind of grill you wanna do them on. We did them on the gas side, but I've done these on the pellet. I've done them on charcoal. You can do them just about any old way you want. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next week. Safe and happy grilling. Bye now.